Welcome to another Untrained video. In today's video, we're going to go solo escalation where we will go from absolutely nothing to raiding rich bases. If you guys want to see more escalation videos, make sure to drop a like. Let's aim for 250 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos. A huge percentage of you guys watching right now aren't subscribed, and each one helps the channel grow more than you think. Plus, videos mythical giveaway winners show now. And today, we're going to run another one, which is a radioactive scaler. To win this, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning, and I would like to shout out each and every one of you for your support. Boy. All right, boys, we're in escalation solo. Already got a gun, perfect. Now this server is escalation. It is a bit high times low on Panda Hut, and basically what we're going to do today is we're just gonna build a base, try to get ourselves some raids. There are a few people on. It is quite late in the evening though, so I don't think that actually a lot of people will be on when we're doing this, but that's okay. I don't really care about PvP. I'm just gonna try to speed run escalation since it's high time zone I, I don't think that's actually gonna be too hard i'm gonna build close to the dead zone the server has no kits it has no vault so that means if we're gonna go raiding or running around with the gas mask then we need to have it on us and if we die we may just lose it so it is a bit high risk server but honestly that that's quite all right trying to get myself like a chainsaw and an axe from here that's why i came here originally yeah there we go we got it serves a chainsaw and an axe and a backpack. We'll take everything and we'll salvage them because everything is useful on this. We got ourselves a canteen as well. We got ourselves three beds. We can stack the fabric. And we're gonna build like literally right over here. I already saw myself a few bases when I was running around here. So there are stuff to raid which is obviously really good. And let's just start chopping down ourselves some trees. We're not gonna focus on quests. I don't think I'm even going to go to the other side of the map. All I need is TKR and the dead zone front to be honest. Perhaps we'll go to Parkwood to try to find ourselves some PvP later on. Because obviously, I want to kill some people because it's literally the easiest way to get loot. Especially if we kill people that have been going to the dead zone. Let's get ourselves as much logs as possible and we sh and we shall start building the base uh, very soon. We'll build it literally right over here. I'll probably just do like a 1x1 one one or a 2x1. And then we'll upgrade it to reinforced. Don't think I'll be working enough to make it to metal. But yeah, if I do get myself the opportunity, for example, to make a blast forge, then I will definitely upgrade the base to metal. But for now, I'll just have to make it into wood, obviously. All right, so all of here is out of bounds. So we're going to have to find ourselves a location to, to actually build it. So there is like a six-man team on the survey. So we actually got to be a little bit careful about that. Right, let's place all of these here. There we go, we got ourselves a one by one already. We gotta chop down my, ourselves some more trees though for storage. Let's put this here. Yeah, let's put this here. There we go, we got one box for now. Let's put all of these. There we go, we already got ourselves a base that was uh, very quick. It was really quick. We've been on the server for like, how much? Three minutes and we got ourselves a one by one. So now we'll start looting around. Start looting around, maybe we'll find ourselves some PvP. Alright, so what I'm gonna try to focus is getting myself a gas mask as quickly as possible. So we need to get ourselves stuff for adhesive. Uh, coffee filter canteen which we already have basic basically that kind of stuff now we're back in base i'm gonna depot what i just got i actually forgot to do the generator kit as well because on this server you require a generator kind of wish that it's the escalation generator and gauze cannot vanilla but it's whatever i guess let's put everything that we just got we're gonna salvage this bed we don't need it we got ourselves quite a lot of cloth which is important for fabric we need that Let's stack it all as well. Got ourselves another stack. Put that there. Let's put all of the uh, ingots as well. Extra guns. Yeah, we already got ourselves almost a full start. So we're probably gonna have to get ourselves more. Got ourselves a nice painting, bro. So apparently Escalation had a huge update from the last time I played it. Apparently there are new guns as well. Which one of them is the gun that I'm currently holding. Apparently there's a new plane as well. A lot of items can be stacked. I've not played Escalation in a while to be completely honest. But... It's nice to see that it's still getting updated, obviously. There we go, we got ourselves another crate. This one is a large crate, though. Let's put this one over here. Yeah, now we got ourselves quite a lot of space. Now we wouldn't have any problems with, with storage. We got ourselves another small crate, so let's put it on top of this one. There we go. All right, nice. So probably next I'm going to go to Parkwood and try to find myself uh, some PvP. A lot of people do go to Parkwood. Hopefully we won't die. If I don't see anyone there, I'll probably just go to TKR. Hope that there's people there. If there are, then obviously we'll PvP them. If there aren't, we'll just focus on getting stuff for adhesive. I still need to get myself chemicals. I do got myself duct tape and the glow. So the third item, obviously, is, is chemicals. And I still need to get myself a coffee filter as well. And after that, we would be able to start doing dead zone runs. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user-friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, 
But after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Ark and also Minecraft. A game-changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LGG for 30% off. And let's get straight back into the action. Alright, there's a guy here. Yeah, there's a guy that's... I think he's geared, bro. He seems geared. Yeah, I'm gonna jump on him. Bro, is he not dead? There we go, now he's dead. Bro, for a second there, I thought... I was actually gonna die. Let's kill the zombies. Yeah, he's geared as hell, bro. Let's just take everything. Let's kill the zombie. Let's take the circuit boards. Oh, damn. Okay, so he had the CSO. He had an asset. Bunch of ammo. Bunch of clothes. That's pretty good, though. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go back to base. Really happy with that. Alright, so that dude, yeah, he's a solo good. Alright, that's pretty nice. We got ourselves a Hermes as well. Let's take these. We got ourselves some glue. We got ourselves a, a gun crate as well. So we got ourselves some better clothes than what I had. I still had fishing clothes. Let's salvage the fishing clothes. Now we don't need that. Yeah, ingot, glow, a bunch of plastic, a bunch of electronics. Alright, not too bad. We got ourselves a, a flashbang round too. Right, let's put everything in here. Nice. So we still got ourselves got some more items though. We still did not get anything for the gas mask. We still are probably actually going to go to walk in and get myself uh, the chemicals from there because they're very common there it's a mechanic station so oh, somebody's raiding i think all right yeah let's go to walk in or tkr that's actually yeah let's go to tkr and then after we'll go to walk in maybe there's people at tkr i think that's where they are they're raiding from all right so i did get everything um but before we go to the dead zone run i'm going to upgrade base into a two by one so that it's not too small because it's starting to get uh, quite cramped up and we we don't want that there we go we got everything i do have myself a gauss mask i do have everything for it so yeah, we're going to go do the dead zone run very quickly. From here, what I really want, honestly, is to get myself uh, airdrops. Perhaps we'll get ourselves the Valkyrie as well. And obviously as much weapons and high kill ammo as possible. Nitroglycerin would be nice so that we can start crafting C4. Basically, anything that raids would be great. That, that, that is really the, the plan, basically. Let's get the gas mask and um, let's repo everything that we don't want to take with us so that we get ourselves even more storage, including the axe as well. All of the food, even some of the ammo, we can actually keep it here. But yeah, let's go. Let's go do our first dead zone run. We've been on the server for 30 minutes and already doing a dead zone run. Escalation is actually very easy to progress. A lot of people have been telling me this. It's very easy to progress, especially if you're on a high times root survey. If you're on vanilla, it may take a bit less time, but it's still quite quickly. All right, let's lure all the zombies and let's just start spraying them down. All right, first mag out. Alright, DC, a lot of loot. Jesus. Yeah, there's an airdrop grenade. Get ourselves an elite spec, so... I think with just one run, we're gonna be settled this whole time. I'm gonna take as much guns as possible at the end, too, so that uh, we'll salvage them and get ourselves, like, a billion metal ingots and all of that. Gotta be careful that people don't try to counter me, actually. And we got ourselves a few missiles as well. And yeah, we gotta prioritize. There's so much. Let's take the EOD. I don't see any new guns, though, either, actually. Yeah, we're gonna take as much guns as possible, so we'll salvage, obviously. Uh, we'll take the high kill, very important, so we'll try to get ourselves, like, the HMT today. If we do get that, that would be great. Try to focus on getting one, actually, today. Right, let's get ourselves the Valkyrie. All right, lovely. We'll try to get ourselves just 50% into the Gauss Musk, and then we will, um, we will return for another run and get probably another Valkyrie. Oh, yeah, we can stack um, gun parts now and... And springs, too. That's actually really cool. I like that. All right, nice. All right, well, we're done with this. Got ourselves a full inventory. Let me actually drop that gun and take myself an asset. Yes, it's my favorite gun in this map. Used to be the compact, but now it's burst, and I'm not really a fan of burst. Put ourselves some attachments. There we go. Lovely. Let's get ourselves the scope, too. All right. And I got myself the perfect asset. All right, before we go, let's actually get these boxes. Maybe we'll get ourselves a breaching hammer, too, but... Nope, get ourselves pistols and we're home. Alright, not too bad. So I'm gonna depot this loot and then I'm going to go a bit further away and we'll pop the airdrop. I'm gonna make myself some lockers too. We do get ourselves a lot of metal. I think I just accidentally salvaged the Valkyrie. Yeah, I did. Oops. It's, it's alright. It's whatever. We still need the high-tech fuses if we're gonna go to the tier 2 dead zone. So it's honestly whatever. Alright, so it's time to also upgrade all of this into reinforced as well. So let's do that. I do have myself enough ingots, obviously. After that, we'll go pop the airdrop.
Alright, so I popped it at the very edge. Um, hopefully nobody tries to come take this airdrop, especially the six-man team. Because I would, uh, I would actually get pretty upset if that happens. I really want, like, a Dizov or C4 from this. Or, like, the Aries. I've never gotten an Aries yet. And I did pop myself quite a ton of airdrops. It doesn't take too long to land. Come on. Yeah, it's about to land. Let's hope we got something good. Oh, C4. And four meds. Okay, we got some adhesive, bunch of night vision. Well, I'm happy with the C4, but the rest is kind of bad. Adhesive is nice too, though. Get ourselves bysies, man. The med kits are insane. Four med kits? All right, well, we can actually raid something. We're gonna raid the wooden base now. We got one C4, so that's probably what I'm gonna do next. All right, first base raid, just a wooden... Uh, base, yeah, we're through. There's, um, some crates. Okay, there's some loot. There we go. We got ourselves a bunch of ingots, adhesives, car batteries. We got chemicals from that. It looks like a bunch of ammo here. Alright, well, let's seal off. I, I, I kind of broke the second one, too, but it's whatever. Let's take the glow. Uh, let's take that easy. A lot of metal. That's actually pretty nice. Let's take the glow. Um, generator. They don't even have a generator. This base was decaying slowly. A lot of people that join these servers don't even realize. Like, they don't know that the server has a decay system. We got ourselves an MP. I'll take that. I don't think there's anything up here, though. But, yeah. First raid done. Not bad. I think we actually did profit. We get, uh, get our adhesive back. A lot of metal. So, I'll not actually complain with that. That's actually really nice. Oh, wait, what? Bro, there's a bunch of lockers in here. Oh, damn, wait. I think they... I think people tried to raid this base and failed, or it started to decay. Bro, that's crazy. All right, well, I'm back. I'm gonna try to get myself some C4, then I'm gonna craft C4. I do have enough for at least two. Got enough of nitro and everything for that. Got myself a bunch of adhesive, too. That's actually really nice. Yeah, there we go. Let's get ourselves some adhesive. So, we need, yeah, just plastic, basically, and circuit boards. I'm gonna go raid those. That would be really good if we get that. Like, they're the large lockers, so they probably have some really good loot in there. Alright, there we go, we're back. First C4. Let's hope that it's already decayed, so don't use... Oh, never mind, yeah, we're gonna have to use another one. No problem. Oh, yeah, that bro... Dude, there's so much loot! Alright, let's see what we get. Oh, it looks like a bunch of dead zone stuff there. A bunch of glow, adhesive. They made some attachments, too. That's great. Chemicals. There's so much guns, bro. Yeah, there's so much stuff for adhesives as well. We literally got two adhesives from it, so we already profited the adhesives back. Alright, this one is full of uh, clothes, chemicals, that are right there, another release pack, a bunch of books. If I get nitro around this, I'm gonna be so happy, but... It looks like we're not getting any. Alright, let's take that book, take the chemicals. I'm gonna have to do multiple runs, man, to get all of this. It's gonna take me a while. Let's take all of the um, marksman ammo because we can raid with that. We're gonna have to come back. I'm probably gonna try to craft myself like an HMT or something like that. We do have a lot of high cal, but I need to go back into the dead zone and actually get myself the, the HMG components. Yeah, we got ourselves so much guns from this. I'm really happy. I have a sentry too in here. Thank God that ran out. I wouldn't have had anything to break it with. I don't think I left anything that good, yeah. Looks like there's a bunch of guns, but don't need those. But we're probably gonna salvage as much as them as possible so that we can upgrade base, maybe make a blast forge and upgrade the base to full metal. That would be a, that would be really good. And yeah, there's a breaching hammer in here, so let's take that. A bunch of boxes. Got ourselves a bunch of fully decked out weapons too. That's really nice. Alright, so we're gonna home, we're gonna go back into the dead zone, get ourselves the HMG components, craft an HMT, and we will return and finish this raid. Really good, yeah, we have everything out. We have to make a toolbox too, actually. So for a toolbox, we need a bunch of tools, we need a hammer, wrench, blowtorch, which, uh, they're very easy to make. We need pliers, I don't have pliers. I think I saw pliers in here, though. Yeah, let's take that plastic. Oh yeah, there's pliers here, perfect. Alright, yeah, so all I need is a wrench and the hammer, which is just metal, so that's very easy to do. Oh, there's people throwing grenades close. I'm going. I'm gonna see if there's people. I need PvP, man. And yeah, let's switch the gun. Let's put this, um, scope on it. I never use this... Dude, that dot is so fat. That is a big dot. Oh, yeah, there's shots going on, man. I gotta get that kill. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Yeah, he's clueless. Oh, my God, he's dead. Let's see what bro had. He has loot of two people because he killed someone. I killed him. Oh, he has anvil on oh, nitro. Yo, perfect. That's really good. He has anvil clothes as well. There we go. It's really good. 
I got ourselves a toolbox, perfect. So now we can get ourselves an HMT. I still need to go in the dead zone though to get the, the HMG components. Then we made ourselves another small box. Let's put that bad boy right over here. Base is starting to get cozy. All I need to get is the LDG poster, which I can find in the main city. And I would be settled, man. I would be, I would be very happy. It would be a cozy, comfortable base, which is what I want. All right, dead zone run numero two. Already see high cal over there, perfect. Let's kill them over there. Kill this dude. Let's take that high cal. Bro, this video is showing how easy it is to progress on escalation. Genuinely. <laughs> we got ourselves a cryogen, nice. Okay, there's a lot of zombies actually. I should have killed them all before I actually got in here because you can get stuck so easily. Let's take the HMG. There we go. We got it what we needed. And we can still do another dead zone run with the one filter. Alright, so now we'll cross the H. Now we'll cross the HMT. And we will go and raid those lockers. Hopefully we'll get some something good, man. Stay savage this asset because we do need some automatic parts. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Alright, we're back. We're gonna see love behind us so if people hear us, even though we're literally on the other side of a random island. And let's go. Let's hope we get some good loot. Alright, that Th those were weak, okay. Okay, a bunch of guns. We got ourselves a bunch of Hermes, a bunch of ammo. It's nice. Right, let's raid these ones next. Alright, broke looks like. Uh, even more ammo, stack of fabric, LTLM, car jack, okay. Let's raid this one now. Alright, broke and we got a refill. Looks like a bunch of junk in that one, nothing that good. Let's refill. I don't know if I should raid the sentry to get the devastator, to be honest. I probably will. And then I'll make my own turret. Now, this one is strong. Yeah, broke. Looks like a bunch of more guns, some glow, chemicals, a bunch of food. Alright, not too bad. Yeah, we got ourselves a building planner, so that's good. Alright, let's refill. Right, after this locker, we'll home. Pretty good raid, though. It's actually pretty good load. Come on, bro, break. There we go. 100 bullets. They have industrial, yeah, they have the vanilla industrial generator. Let's take all of these assets. They're really good for PvP. All right, not too bad. All right, let's home. We'll get the Devastator, though, too. There's some shots going on here. Oh, there's a dude there. All right, he's dead. There's another guy. Uh, probably a duo then. Or they were just random solos. Oh, yeah, he's right there. I see him. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, the car's gonna explode. Alright, so this dude had um, a bunch of joint. He had nitro. That's good. Alright, not too bad. Alright, let's see what the first dude had. Oh, even more nitro. Alright, we'll take the guns and salvage them, obviously. Oh, I accidentally made the hammer. Oops. That's alright. Alright, boys, so after that, I did leave the survey. It was a nice short. Racks to riches, we did get ourselves to raise a bit of PvP, and all of this was completed in the span of around 2 hours, so it's very easy to progress this map, especially on high times. So if you guys want to see more escalation videos like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!